A little update about YouTube. Starting from October 15th, the duration of shorts will be extended to 3 minutes. Previously, the maximum duration was only 1 minute. In my opinion, this is interesting because we no longer need to worry about fitting content within 60 seconds. Sometimes, when making shorts, the video duration can exceed 1 minute, and if it exceeds by just 1 second, the video will be considered a long video, not a short. With this extended duration, we can be more flexible and won't lose any important information in our content. For the three minute duration, I think it's more than enough. In fact, there will likely be very few shorts that actually reach three minutes, with most averaging around two minutes. If you want to create a longer video, it's better to make a long video, as the ad placement in long videos is more profitable compared to shorts. Regarding this change, YouTube's algorithm might also change, but we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. One thing to note, the three-minute duration doesn't apply to artist channels that have a music icon next to the channel name. For these channels, the short's duration remains one minute. There are pros and cons to the three-minute duration. The advantage is that we can upload longer videos. The downside is that if a vertical video under three minutes is uploaded, it will automatically be classified as a short. The issue is that ad revenue from shorts is lower compared to long videos. So, if you want to make a long video, pay attention to the ratio so that your video doesn't automatically become a short. Additionally, with a longer duration, it will be harder to maintain a high retention rate. Retention, or the amount of time people watch the video, is one of the important factors for YouTube's algorithm. The higher the retention, the more likely the video is to be recommended by YouTube. For example, if a short video with a 60-second duration is watched for only 30 seconds, the retention is 50%. If it's watched all the way through, the retention is 100%. The longer the video, the harder it is to keep viewers watching until the end. So far, there's no information on whether the ad format will change. If the ad format remains the same, revenue from shorts ads may not change much, even though the video duration has been extended to 3 minutes. You might also notice that YouTube is becoming more like TikTok. TikTok allows videos over one minute in length, although I'm not sure what the maximum is. Also, in TikTok, viewers can send gifts during live streams, and a similar feature will be coming to YouTube. In conclusion, this is an update regarding the extension of shorts duration to three minutes. What do you think? Is this change interesting, or just average? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.